Hello and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Jen Zielinski. Our top story. Heavy rains and melting snowpack caused several creeks in the Okanagan to overflow. McDougall Creek was the first to burst its banks Wednesday night, flooding several homes along Hitchner Road. The flood watch continued on Thursday as city crews and firefighters were called in to hold back the creek with sandbags. Smith Creek overran its banks in the Copper Ridge Drive area, although the situation there remains under control. A portion of Boucherie Road was shut down as floodwaters washed over the pavement. Several parks were also underwater. When Mill Creek started to flood homes on Friday morning, strangers came to help. Radio stations actually called me asking what was going on here. And um, I told them I needed sandbag helpers. Brant's Creek Linear Park and the Greenway Underpass near Casorso Road were also closed due to increased water flow. Central Okanagan residents are asked to use caution when around streams or rivers. A man is clinging to life after he was electrocuted in East Kelowna. There are reports he may have been trying to steal copper wire. RCMP were called to Lexmore Road after receiving a report two men were mountain biking in the area when one of them leaned up against a pole and was shocked. Fortis BC discovered at least two ground wires pulled from separate poles and a pair of gloves nearby. The man who was electrocuted was taken to hospital with serious burns. His friend was apparently arrested at the scene. The father of accused murderer Matthew Forster was in court in Vernon on Thursday for a bail hearing. 58-year-old Stephen Forster is charged with being an accessory after the fact in the killing of Taylor Van Deest last Halloween. The Cherryville man is also accused of obstructing justice. A BC Supreme Court judge ended up reserving decision on the bail hearing until later in May. Recently, 26-year-old Matthew Forrester had his charge upgraded from second-degree murder to first-degree. Four businesses in Kelowna had their storefronts smashed in on Wednesday morning. Yuppie Puppy and Springfield Automotive were both hit during a short period of time. Two other businesses, one on Banks Road and the other on Keene Road, were also targeted. Basically, cash boxes were targeted, so uh, it appears that uh, the suspects got away with a very small amount of cash. Later the same day, police were called to source adult video after a man threatened the clerk with a screwdriver and demanded money. It is unclear if this incident was related to the previous break and enters. And finally, the winner was announced after four months of anticipation. Scissor Kick took home the title of Castanet's Garage Band Champions after five bands battled it out at Sapphire Nightclub. Uh, it means a lot to be recognized by our peers and people in the community and just, I mean, all the fans that came out because it was a lot to do with voting and just everybody for coming out. It's been a blast. The band wins a $5,000 recording contract with Rhythm Lab and a paid gig at one of the many Festival Kelowna Parks Alive shows this summer. Castanet's Garage Band Contest also raised $600 for the food bank. That wraps up Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Jen Zielinski. Remember to send your news tips to news at castanet.net and follow us on Twitter at, at Castanet News.